what's up YouTube and I'm back with another video finally after a uh, few weeks few months maybe uh, so I got a whole system installed we're using uh, Audison's uh, F-150 package in this truck and I'm gonna tune it using the bit tune so what we have with the bit tune is we have if you can see here you have the uh, I call it the microphone looks like Starship Enterprise on a little mount and then we have like a, a mic here that actually does uh, phase checking. And then we're going to have the uh, control unit over here. And I have the amp sitting out like that because, like I said, we're just testing some stuff. Uh, so we have the bit tune itself. Uh, let's power that sucker up. And then uh, everything plugged in, a little strap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first calibrate the mic uh, on this unit. So here, let's do this. So follow me and we'll get there. So first we're gonna launch the software here on my computer. And we're gonna connect to the device. And the mic calibration takes a little bit of time. So it's gonna tell me I need an optical unit, optical connection. And first let's calibrate the mic. So we're gonna go to settings mic calibration and then we're going to go over here we're going to put the microphone in the first position we're going to close the door and we're going to hit the run button here and go hurry up sorry about the background noise Okay, this is gonna tell me to move to position two. So we take that microphone and we move it to position two. And we do the same thing. Hit start. And hit hurry up because I'm lazy. And now it tells me to move to three. Four. Like I said, this, this, these steps are easy once you get past one. Let me just go hit four. Now five. Mic calibration is done. Now move back to position three. Okay. So those are simple. Now what we're gonna do is do a driver side tune. Um, and I'm gonna keep it simple because I did polarity check already in the system when I really install it. So what I'm going to do is have it start check levels and then I'm going to have it do timeline. So we're going to first start with check levels, which will be here. And it's going to go through a process of check level. Now it's going to ask you polarity check. Did you do that? I already did that in person. So I'm going to hit the X box here. As this do not act against in the session. Hit no. And it's going to go straight to that section for me. And it's going to start doing it on its own. So I want to hurry up. So it's really uncomplicated. It's gonna do some measurements on its own.
what you're gonna notice is that I also have here checked on the driver's seat. Microphone levels too low. Gotta check that. So we did a level, we're gonna go through a level check once more time. Um, I had to go do recalibrate the mic. I uh, forgot to plug the fiber optic in. Duh. Uh, but we'll go from there. So I'll do a level check one more time. And that's just, it's a good thing to know that um, it'll warn you when you don't have the right levels in there. Now the funny thing is that my calibration should have worked as well, but since it didn't, we're gonna go through the level check one more time. Successfully. Now what we're gonna do is do an audio a auto time alignment on the driver's seat. Now we're gonna let it do its measurements. And, and as you can tell, this process, if you do it with your own tune, uh, this is supposed to take less than an hour, 45 minutes, if you really, really got it all dialed in and everything's working correctly. And how many, it depends on how many uh, presets you have on your uh, DSP. So in this case, I got two. So I'm gonna do a driver's seat with my tune, uh, with my curve that I like to use, and then I'm gonna use a center of the car with my curve as well. And I'll show you how to switch it to there, all right? So here, it's still measuring. if I have any hidden speakers and I can't in this case I don't so I'm gonna have it hit it no and then I'm gonna enable for phase correction now that can be changed when I'm that can be changed when I'm tuning the car so we're gonna hit that button there you still gonna listen to it I'm gonna go to my curve last curve one I have two curves and I want to do um, hard and process and it's gonna do its thing Now it's in the data. Okay, and it, it did a, um, put a speaker out of phase for me here. Now what I want to do is save it to one of my presets. I have two. I'm gonna hit okay. 
and I'm gonna finish. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move to the center uh, and I'm gonna do Let's do level check with center. Well, le level check will apply to both, so it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna do audio here, and then I'm gonna switch this to B, because I already did pre presets for them. And then I'm gonna hit uh, start. Now, what, for me, I have to actually get in the car once I hit start, so, because I need to move the mic to the center. So I'm gonna actually hold it, because I don't actually have a holder for my mic holder. So I'm gonna move it to the center. I'm gonna get in the car, eh, get in the car and hold it in the center. And it's gonna take, it's gonna do the mic. So uh, this will take a few minutes. So I'll get back to you when I'm done. So hang tight. So now I went through and got in the car and sent into that microphone up. Um, I hit hard process and it put speakers out of phase for me. And then all I'm gonna do is save it to be here and then finish it and then finalize it. Do I want to export data configuration file? No, I don't. So I close it out, hit save, I just cancel, I, or I can export it either way. I cancel it. Do I want to save so changes on title? No. Nope. So now it's all set and done. So it's gonna just finalize on its own and it's just gonna go through the process. And then I can sit in the car and listen to what's going on. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, once that's all done, I'm gonna uh, sit in it down. Now this can be a, a, a tool, I guess, to see what it is. So it gives me a curve to work with and then I can go in and fix anything I wanna change and then we'll go from there. So I'm gonna listen to it, play some music and then plug in a DSP, plug my computer in and then see what it did. And then we'll go from there and I'll show you with the, with the, with the video. So we uh, launched the software and let's see what kind of changes we have on the, on the unit itself. So let's see, get the camera right here. Wow, so there's some big changes as far as presets go, as far as EQ. And this is gonna be the center seat and this is gonna be the driver. And this is gonna be just for a bunch of different stuff. So you could probably see it from there. So, so that's the driver seat tune and then the passenger seat tune. You see the big changes. That's just for the left tweeter. And you've got the mid bass and rear. And it's, uh... So yeah, let's, let's, let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it sounds like. So hopefully it's tuned right. We might have to make some adjustments, but we'll go from there. Hang tight.